I mean, it's going to hurt um, just because, like, I came here. I wanted to go to the NCAA tournament. I wanted to guide a team to the NCAA tournament, and this is the first time we did in a long time. So, I mean, it's going to hurt that I'm not playing. Obviously, I love the game, but I'm just as happy for my team being there because what people realize is that, like, I, I got it us to a point, but they finished it out. We still have work to do, and they finished it out. So they deserve it more credit than I do. So I'm proud of them. What do you think it means to them that you're there with them, that you get to be there, at least be there with them, help them emotionally and all that? It means a lot. I mean, sometimes I just try to make the guys laugh if we're in a, if we're in a hard situation just to calm down and just to know I'm another player on the team. It, it just feels good. I think it feels good for them. I can't speak for them really, but I hope hopefully they say that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people toss around the words family or love. What does that mean to you for this team? Uh, that's the biggest thing for our team. That's the biggest thing why our team is the way our team is. Without family and love, we wouldn't be in the situation we are in today because we have so many doubters. And if we didn't believe in each other and love each other and fight for one another, then we wouldn't be in the tournament. I asked Gabe the same question earlier, but when you saw Clemson's name up there, you knew you were in, but to see it, you know, what was that like for you? And especially knowing that you helped build this program where it is now? Um, it was kind of unbelievable, honestly, just because for me, like as a kid, you like you dream like to be in the NCAA tournament. You know, you play on the court, fill out the brackets when you're a kid. You know, just it's just basketball. So just to know that all the hard work we put in in Spain and and the off season and during the season how we fought and continue to believe in ourselves and everybody was didn't believe in us and just talked bad about our team and we just stayed together and just to see where our hard work got us to is just unbelievable and we still got work to do. You've had a better seat than any of us in watching this team since you went out. Do you think this team is, is dangerous and can make some noise? Very dangerous because, like I said, like even before, even when I was playing, nobody believed that we was a good team. Only we believed because we seen how hard we worked. We seen how we played together in Spain. We seen how connected we are. And even that I'm not playing, they're still connected. Like guys step up in leadership roles like Shelton, Gabe, Marquise, and Eli really step up in that leadership role. So. We're always we always been slept on. We're, we're going to continue to get slept on because nobody really hasn't seen Clemson basketball be successful like we have been this year. So we're always going to get slept on, and that just throws wood in the fire for us. How have you seen the identity of this team evolve and transform since uh, your injury? Uh, it, it really has. Um, I've seen it evolve a lot, especially it gave a lot of guys confidence. For example, Gabe. Like when I when I went down. Gabe stepped his game up to another level, and he and he knew he had to step his game up to another level. So, I think that is the really prime example of our team really gaining confidence in me going down and really still believing that we're a great team because we really are. Like I said before, like we still had work to do even when I was playing. So they finished out strong. They beat North Carolina at home. They had big wins. They won big road wins. So, we're a really good team. How's your rehab going? It's going great. Uh, I'm about to get off crutches here Wednesday, so thank God. Yeah. Um, getting stronger every week, you know. I'm above schedule right now. I'm still above schedule. I'm about to start body weight stuff and a little balance and stuff, but it's going really great. I'm really attacking it. That's that's the main thing for me right now, and staying mentally strong and continue to shoot. I still shoot every day when the team practices and all that, still keeping the love for the games, staying mentally strong, but it's going well. What will you do out there in San Diego? I guess they'll try to keep you as close to what you need to do as possible? Of course. I'm always responsible. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, continue to rehab. I guess I've never been to San Diego before. I've been to California. But uh, I guess to see, I heard San Diego is beautiful, so I'll see that. But honestly, we came, it's a business trip, you know. San Diego is great, but we came there to win games. So I think that's our main focus. Do you get the prime spot on the plane to stretch out your leg? Uh, I, really, I don't, actually. They, because they said I'm on crutches and I, I, really, I got to be able to help people. So I, I barely can help myself right now. But hopefully we got a big plane and hopefully it's not packed like the ACC plane was. But hopefully I get two seats by myself and I can stretch out a little bit. But even if I don't, I'll be happy if it's packed. I mean, we got a lot of fans coming out and supporting us. Any more questions?